We ask for a chance to spare. If we should win, we should win. Let it be by the code. Let it be by the code. Faith and honor held high. Faith and honor held high. If we should lose, we should lose. We'll stand by the road. We'll stand by the road. Cheers, the winners go by. And cheers, the winners go by. Day by day, day by day, we get better and better. We get better and better. Don't get me beat. Don't get me beat. Won't be beat. Won't be beat. Ah! Who say they won't? Who? Who say they red? See, you might not like it, but you gon' respect it, cause this is West Texas. Who? Who say they want it? Who say they ready? Hey, coach, they might not like it, but they gon' respect it, cause this is West Texas. I said it's game time. You know it's game time. Hey, coach, they know it's game time. You know it's game time. I said it's game time. Come on. Hey, coach, they know it's game time. Well, there's a reason why they call it a Hail Mary because most certainly a prayer was answered tonight in the final three seconds of this one. Demetrius Davis to AJ Carter. They say they drew it. They draw this one up every Thursday in practice. Well, it came to fruition tonight as they take down the Duncanville Panthers 41 to 36 here at Jerry World in Arlington. Well, good evening, folks. I'm Manny Diaz. Welcome to AT&T Stadium and what a finish to the 2018 Texas high school football season. You know, defense is what we were expecting tonight, but I tell you, we got plenty of points. We're gonna hear from the Galena Park North Shore team and just a magical finish they put, they assembled tonight. But first things first, those Twisted Root highlights. Tonight's Cover One highlights are presented by Twisted Root Burger Company. Jaquindon Jackson and the Duncanville Panthers making the program's second all-time state championship appearance, taking on Tony Bradford and some of the baddest cats in Texas, the Galena Park North Shore Mustangs. First quarter, North Shore up 7-3, but here come the Panthers. Jaquindon Jackson shows us why he's the number two ranked athlete out of the 2020 class, off the keeper here and going 57 yards into North Shore territory. Two plays later, they give it to Tristan Smith and he knows what to do with it for the 19 yard touchdown, giving the kids from the Metroplex a 10-7 lead. But back come the Stangs, Demetrius Davis, this kid just a sophomore, launches one to Shodrick Banks for the 51 yard touchdown, making it 15-10 North Shore and the Mustang fans absolutely loving it. But this one like a heavyweight fight, both teams answering each other's blows. Here it was Javon Fountain on the very next drive off to the races for the 48 eight yard gain. Two plays later, any guesses who the Panthers are calling on? Well, how about Tristan Thompson for the seven yard house call and with less than a minute to go in the opening frame, 17-15 Duncanville. Second quarter now, North Shore up 22-17, but the Panthers on the move. Tristan Smith taking it for the nice gain of 22, but Duncanville would have to settle for the 36 yard Victor Escalona field goal. Under five to go in the first half, North Shore looking to add to the lead, but what's crazy is you can see how this one develops as Demetrius Davis hits John Gentry in stride for the 33 yard touchdown. Mustangs would lead 29 20 at the break. Well, following a scoreless third quarter, Duncanville opened the fourth with a Victor Escalona field goal, and here looking for more. Hand off to Tristan Smith, and this kid has got some speed. Racing to the house for the 52-yard touchdown. He was good for 152 yards rushing in the night, making it 30-29 Duncanville, and the Panther faithful loving this guy. A little more than seven to go in the game. North Shore calling on the junior, Zach Evans, who's taking kids with him for the ninth game. Very next play, not only did North Shore fake out the Duncanville defense here, but the cover one camera guy getting big number 95, Jordan Revels involved for the eight yard touchdown. And we have another lead change and an AUM Holistic Therapies play of the game nominee. Less than three to go, North Shore up 35-30, but the Panthers not backing down. Going to Giazzi Smith off the jet sweep, and the senior picks up a nice chunk of change for a Duncanville first down. Very next play, Jaquindon Jackson off the keeper, but watch how he's taken down a clear face mask called, moving the Panthers even closer. Now with the buck six to go in the game, Duncanville knocking on the door, and Jaquindon Jackson just busts it down for the five yard touchdown. This place is losing its mind. 
This one in AUM Holistic Therapy's Play the Game nominee, Jackson Good for 226 yards rushing on the night. Following the touchdown, Duncanville would line up for two. Jackson off the keeper, but just shy of the goal line, no good. He would stay down for a while, but would be okay. Scoring out 36-35 Panthers. Wonder a minute to go now. North Shore saying, we didn't come this far to come this far. You know what I mean? Demetrius Davis to Chance Pillar to move the chains. 14 seconds left. Davis with a quick pass to Shadrick Banks. Good for the first down. But now with three seconds left after being backed up to the 45, Davis sends a prayer to the end zone. And good gosh almighty Joe Friday. A.J. Carter finds a way to make the grab with three Duncanville players in his grill. The North Shore sideline losing it in the end zone. The play would go under review since this would define the game. Touchdown confirmed. And just like that, the Galena Park North Shore Mustangs are champions of Texas. And talk about a thriller. Four lead changes and 28 points scored just in the fourth quarter alone. My goodness. As for that super sophomore, Demetrius Davis, well, he was named the offensive MVP, throwing for 333 yards, good for fifth all-time in Class 6A title game history, while tying a Class 6A state game record with five touchdowns. Nonetheless, what a moment it was after the game for the champs. Tonight's Cover One post-game sound is brought to you by the Caverns of Sonora. Can you explain this feeling right now? I can't explain it. It's, it's unexplainable. It's unexplainable. It's unbelievable. That, that's the only word I have for it. It's unbelievable. I can't, I can't believe. I just can't believe what's happening right now. I couldn't believe when it happened. I just ran downfield. I couldn't believe. It felt like a dream. What, uh, what were you thinking with three seconds to go there? Uh, I was thinking if anyone's going to touch the ball, we get we, we got two kids and AJ and Shadrach that, that we feel confident about. And, you know, we just told Demetrius, give him a shot, drop it in the end zone. He did that, and those kids took care of the rest. All of this happened because of my coach. We worked this every day at practice. Hell of a coach right here. This is the guy right here. This, how, this, this happened because of him. Hey, you did it, man. You worked hard for it, man. Congratulations. State champion, baby. Proud of you. So proud of that Duncanville program. So proud of those two communities to come in here. I've said it a hundred times. There hasn't been a lot of state championships with communities like ours represented on both sides, and I'm very proud to be part of that. My teammates were more calm than I was because, like, I don't like being down. I don't like being uh, another team being having more points than us. You know, they were building me up. They were telling me keep calm, keep calm. We're gonna score, and I just, I just roll with them, and they, we did what we did. I keep on hearing that you guys practice this all the time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We, we practice this every Thursday at the end of practice. We never thought we would do it, but we did it today, and it happened, and it worked. I, I think the community just appreciates the way that these kids represent our way of life, uh, and I think it was on display today. Gritty, never say die. You go to the very last end. It's like, as long as you've got breath, you're going to keep fighting. And they did that today, and that's what the east side of Houston's about, and, and not just North Shore. That whole east side of Houston, you know, I, I've said it before. It's a... You know, it's, it's just about going to work day in and day out and using every opportunity that you got and appreciating it. And those kids cash that in today. I want to shout out J.P. Tillman. That's my boy right there, you know. That man taught, been built me up from a year from now. He built me up so more from when we lost last year in the fourth round. That boy, that boy is the truth right there. That's a GOAT. <laughs> Tonight's play of the game is brought to you by AUM Holistic Therapies. <laughs> Well, no surprise here for the AUM Holistic Therapy play of the game. Yeah, the kind of play that kids all across Houston will be reenacting for years to come as A.J. Carter hauls in the 45-yard Hail Mary to end the game, stunning not only one of the best teams in Texas, but arguably one of the best in the country. That's good for tonight's AUM Holistic Therapy play of the game. It's time for Manny's Cover One Final Call of the Night, presented by Pettit Productions. And just like that, North Shore's A.J. Carter has gone from just a kid from the east side of Houston to an overnight celebrity. But what really makes you think about this ending is despite being backed up to the 45-yard line in the previous play, well, there was a feeling in the air that North Shore still had a chance even with three Duncanville Panthers draped around him, the UTEP commit managed to make the catch of a lifetime. There's no doubt this play will give some serious street cred to A.J. Carter and Demetrius Davis, along with the rest of the North Shore team. 
But gotta give some props to the kids from Duncanville, guys like Jaquindon Jackson and Tristan Smith, who combined for almost 400 yards rushing, gave the Panthers a shot to win it all, but just came up on the wrong side of a 50-50 ball in the end. Meanwhile, what Reginald Samples and John Kay have established with both programs absolutely speaks volumes. Getting to the title game was one thing, but how they got here was another. Beating dynasty-like programs like South Lake Carroll, Allen, Lake Travis, and Katy said oh so much. So moving forward with as much talent and deep playoff experience coming back for both teams, this doesn't appear to be the last we've seen of Duncanville and North Shore, and perhaps on the same stage like we saw tonight. One thing's for sure, it's going down in H-Town, especially on the east side of Houston, as Galena Park North Shore just seals a win. We'll most likely be talking about in years to come, 41 to 36 over Duncanville in the Class 6A Division I State Championship game here at Jim. Well, it's been fun, it's been real. A big thanks to all the coaches, all the players, all the communities, and you know, just for being a part of each and every episode of the inaugural season of Cover One. But most importantly, a big thanks to all of our sponsors back in West Texas. We most certainly couldn't have done it without you guys. Well, before we leave you tonight, can't forget about our stadium mic check. Some sights and sounds from around AT&T Stadium. And I tell you, the fans from both Duncanville and North Shore, live. I'll leave it at that. All right, guys, for the last time this season, for Sofa Couch Media's Cover One, I'm Manny Diaz. Good night. God bless. Merry Christmas. Tonight's Stadium Mic Check is presented by Oasis Crop Insurance. Tell me who it is. You want to talk. You want to defer. You have to defer to the second half. It's over. Oh my God! The time of the field is confirmed.